today we're going to evolve something absolutely perfect. And it all starts with this single egg. One common idiot. Duck, one. Common, common, common. And now this duck is going to do what ducks do and wander around aimlessly. But it already spat out another egg and there's also a big hole. Can I put the duck in the hole? I like where this is going. Now we have some ducks to try and breed, so we'll figure it out eventually. Uh, we're gonna get a common egg and we're probably gonna put another duck into another hole. But it seems there must always be a duck. This is duck number three, but we did get a rare mutation for the wing. So I need to remember that of all the ducks here, this is the one to put into the hole. I'm sorry, but if you don't have something rare or interesting on you, you're going in the murder hole. But it seems this egg was a combination of the rare wing duck and the regular duck that we hold. But now we get to hatch something rare, so that's going to be interesting. It's a regular duck. Hopefully this one does a little better. We have a rare hump. We have a camel duck. So that one has a uh, a hump and a rare wing. Whoa, 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 regular Joe, get in the hole. Uh, this one has the rare wings again, but that's nothing new. But this one was a combination, I think, of the other ones. Never mind, it's just got those regular rare wings. All right, well, we're just going to keep opening eggs until we get something new. There is a new one. Look at this duck. Rare everything. I don't know if it's better to have more or less ducks, but I'm going to uh, get rid of a few of the more boring ones and keep some of the more interesting ones. To me, this game is really all just about putting ducks in holes. I don't care about the rest. I'm kind of thinking we can like selectively breed things though, so as long as we keep getting rid of the rare boring ducks and keeping the ones with the rare parts, they'll keep combining into better and better things. So we're already getting lots that have rare across the board, but I know we can do better than rare. Speak of boring ducks, get in the hole and get in the hole. I... Uh Am I supposed to do something with this? Oh, it didn't really bother me that it was there. What is this? Oh, we got an, a cursed egg. What does a cursed egg do? Oh, we have a cursed mutation. Well, I figured we'd end up with a duck like that eventually. I didn't think we'd do it so soon though. So we're going to go ahead and open this one and we're going to get nothing new. But on this egg, we did get our first epic mutation. So its wing looks kind of like a hoof. And we did also get a new tail mutation. So ducks like this one that just laid the egg need to go because they don't really have anything good to work with. This one has an interesting wing and a tail, but its head is normal. We need three proper mutations at best. And I think now these should all be breeding with each other. So we're going to start to get some pretty weird things, hopefully. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. You, uh, you... And you get in the murder hole. Now there's only very interesting ducks left, at least until we hatch these. So there's a new mutation, we have black wings. But you see now, as we selectively breed these things, we should only get interesting results as long as we throw that one into the drink. You don't have a tail. And that earned us a new tail mutation. It basically doesn't have any feathers, so he gets to stick around. And there's another new mutation, a new head. So we're going to keep going with this and hopefully find some epic or better. I want legendary stuff. That one has a top hat. Now we're getting the interesting results. What's this one going to be? Oh, you're boring. Get in the murder hole. There is also this particular one. He doesn't have a good tail. I finally touch that button that said upgrade egg rarity so now we get to hatch an epic so that's gonna have at least one epic feature and that's a spiky helmet so i should probably be touching more things this is just common so it's gonna go to rare i'm not sure if that was a waste but we did get a new head so for this egg we're gonna upgrade the rarity and that's going to give us this guy with epic wings he's got wings so big they cover his body but i'm also starting to lose track of uh what ones are good or not we're just gonna keep upgrading rarity because apparently i can then we're gonna get lots of oh a legendary mutation he's got metal wings that seems counterintuitive, but that's kind of his problem. Okay, another egg, another new rare mutation, a metal head. And I just realized now, uh, as you like tap on the egg, it tells you what combination of ducks made this. So it's between those two that you saw, we're going to upgrade to epic and then hopefully find more legendary upgrades. Yeah, we got a legendary... Uh, tail. So now we just need the two legendaries uh, to do their thing and then we're gonna get hopefully super legendary. That's a common egg. Can I just throw the egg straight into the garbage? Is that mean? So if we don't want to use the murder hole directly we can do things like this and select the ducks that don't have particularly interesting stuff anymore and sacrifice some this way. Uh, I kind of like the metal head. He gets to stay but not for very long. All right we're gonna sacrifice those ones and uh, that's gonna happen then. Hopefully they get us something new. I think we get another cursed egg. So we get another cursed creature. And that's going to look like that. Great. That's probably really just a result of all the inbreeding. A rare egg. There's a new rare mutation. A chicken without eyes. Uh, actually, that had a lot of weird things going on. This one was a combination of the legendary wing. Uh, because it's got that metal wing on its side. We're only going to get a rare out of it though. But we did get a legendary wing. And an epic tail. And there's a duck with a beard. And we did get a duck with a beard. So we're looking for something here. We need to try and like selectively breed it. I think it's part of a quack beard. We got the beard. I don't know what when your tail it needs. But there's a lot to try and find. Okay, these are all the rares we can find. These are the epics. These are the legendaries. 
uh, exotic is beyond legendary and cursed is pretty much the inbred. So we're going to go ahead and hatch. Oh, we get to upgrade from an epic to a legendary. This is the first legendary egg we've hatched. And that's going to give us a duck with a hat. There's nothing particularly exciting here, but we did get blue tipped wings. And we're starting to get a duck that looks like a robot. And that's probably actually something. Okay, I see the egg sitting in this upper nest is already a legendary. So we're going to skip ahead till that's done. Then we're going to upgrade to hopefully exotic. Well, we're really making progress very quickly suddenly. What's an exotic one look like? It's red. It looks like a clown with metal wings and like a taped up tail. That's horrifying. I currently have 18 of my 25 spaces filled, uh, which is more than I want. I would kind of like to have like, you know, selectively better ones. We're going to open another rare. Okay, we opened an epic egg, but happened to get a spiky headed duck with epic wings and a rare rear end. I kind of want to turn this entire place into just legendary eggs though, or exotic, even better if we can. There's a new uh, like mask wearing duck. That's all fun. So all I'm going to do right now is enjoy my new legendary wings. Didn't see that coming. And then we're going to open everything we can until we have 25 idiots, which gives us the maximum amount of ducks, which means we can start getting rid of things that are just rare. If they don't have, say, legendary or better they're gonna go away now i'm actually probably gonna leave the cutoff at epic if they have epic or better they can stay if they don't have any of that they're gonna go away now but i'm okay with this because it's probably gonna give us yep another inbred can't upgrade these any further so that also came with a rare mutation but it's cursed as well so we have three cursed uh wonders of nature and their eggs should hopefully mostly turn into epics or better now and we're just slowly gonna raid better and better ducks that one literally has legs and hooves he's not gonna have a very pleasant life but it's probably also not going to be a very uh, fast life. Here's a legendary that we're going to turn into exotic again. My horrible plan is actually working so far very slowly. There is a spider duck. Spider duck was abducted by aliens. Now I just hatched like a regular egg. I think it was uncommon, rare, and we got the exotic head. So that's fun. There's probably supposed to be more of a strategy to this, but I'm not really one for good strategy. I just click on things until other things happen. Like that, that's a beautiful duck. It's got like stocky antenna eyes, uh, fangs, teeth, and a place to plug it in. This one comes with a helmet, so that's kind of fun. And they make different sounds. When you pick them up and move them around, they all have their indivi uh, individual sounds. Okay, I found another legendary egg, so that's very important because we can upgrade that to exotic. And then we're going to get something new and very rare. There's two exotics on this duck. He's a construction worker with... Uh, balls and this is duck 51 and we can turn this epic into a legendary and then we're gonna get another exotic mutation so i think we can have a fully exotic duck now can summon bees at will but doesn't feel like it okay so even if we open say a common egg right now if you look at the combination of the ducks ducks that made this there's definitely some legendary parts involved so i think that means some of their parts are going to be legendary just by default nope they can actually downgrade themselves outstanding but i'm also making it my life's mission to make the worst duck imaginable so epic or worse now is getting thrown in the hole and that actually only eliminated six ducks but look at some of these so far there's obviously lots of uh legendary there's a few rare but some of them are getting pretty close like one of them has two exotics two of them have two exotics so it's only a matter of time before those turn into three exotics and then we'll have the ultimate creature all through selective inbreeding is that a thing i guess it is now there's a new head it's a cracked egg this egg was between two chickens both of which have like sockets for wings so i'm kind of curious to see what happens to this one's wings it's going to be epic and it's got a new mutation in epic i wonder if that's what happens you put the same two parts together they turn into a new better version so i just put a really fun idea together in my head so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get rid of pretty much anything that doesn't have exotic legendary is fun but exotic is better but i'm also gonna keep the cursed uh i'm not sure if they actually do anything but uh, we're gonna sacrifice a lot of important ducks but basically now everything left has exotic parts on it uh, except the cursed ones but that should hopefully make a lot of exotic eggs on the ground and then also whatever this is with an exotic rare end so that's cursed rare and exotic yeah it looks like this strategy might be working out because there's already an exotic egg on the ground uh, and i'm pretty sure we're not able to upgrade this because this is in fact the best tier of egg exotic exotic rare but they still managed to give us common eggs so maybe this wasn't a great idea we just sacrificed a lot of ducks for nothing repetitive inbreeding is hard rare egg with nothing going on that's kind of a cool looking duck it's kind of like a cool looking duck to throw into the murder hole. I think we've got like two thirds of a night duck or something. That actually seems kind of like a set, so I might hold on to that one for now. There's another duck, number 67, with two exotic pieces. So we're getting close to the perfect exotic duck. This one's like a hammerhead shark or something. Uh, it's also not exotic. It's not a doctor, it's hiding from the IRS. 
I did just hatch what might actually be the first full legendary duck we found. I think my strategy for hatching only uh, the highest tier ducks doesn't really work that great because this is just a common egg. It's a disaster with duck, but it's still only got a rare tail. And since we're up to 21 again, I think I've got an idea. We're going to get rid of some of the cursed ones. Uh, I don't really know how rare they are. But we're going to leave the ducks that only have two exotic spots or better. Actually, I'm just going to leave any duck with exotic parts because I feel like those parts are all going to mix and match. And I think only have one exotic tail duck. And the duck gods are pretty happy about that because I have a drooling three-headed duck. I kind of want to keep this one. I'm not sure if these are of any use at all. There's an exotic tail though and the duck is kind of upside down. Um... Can those even breed with anything? I don't think they can. We did make like a robot wizard duck though, so that's fun. And a banded duck. Can't think of what that one's good for. And we summon the idiot back into existence, so that's kind of annoying. I can't tell if it's rewarding me or punishing me for murdering ducks. This one doesn't really have anything interesting going on. It does have like rocket wings. And we still have a long ways to go to find all the parts for these. Look how many exotic bodies there are. Okay, I think we're overdue for another purge. We're definitely getting almost all of them now still do have exotic parts. Okay, this one does confirm that the cursed duck can mate with things. Because this is the cursed duck mixed with the hard hat duck. Which then turns into this guy with legendary wings and a rare mutation of no eyes, a black head, and a blue beak. Okay, then the other uh, cursed duck also just did the thing so let's find out what this is trying to give us oh it's giving us like a cursed mutation by itself they kind of do their own chain of things i think the ducks i'm mostly gonna be after are the horrors like i know we've already got the mouthpiece for deep lurk i might have thrown it in the murder hole but we've seen the mouth so we just need to why do we have duplicates do you see this no, that one, the other one has better wings. You get to die. But I'm also kind of overwhelmed with idiots right now. Like, I'm hatching whatever I can, but I don't know which ones I really want to keep right now, which ones I want to throw in a murder hole, which ones I want to, you know. Because ones like this seem cool, and they might be close to something. They have an exotic part, but are they really going to lead to anything? Like, this is a combination of two ba basically the same thing, two spider face ducks. So even with an epic egg, that's going to give us, well, definitely a new face. Okay, so let's do another purge. If they don't have two exotic parts or better, they're going. There's uh, no debating that anymore. That might not have been the best idea in the world, but at least everything left has lots of uh, lots of exotic parts on it. Okay, yeah, can we get your thing now? This hatched monstrosity is kind of like a flower with broken wings. It's beautiful. And this one stems from having two clown faced ducks. We're going to upgrade that all the way to legendary, so hopefully we get something neat. Exotic wings. So my strategy now is to hatch the duck. We take a look. That's actually a horse. And I like that so much, it's going to stay. But aside from that, we're going to hatch the eggs. We're going to see what they look like. If they don't have two exotic pieces like this duck, we're going to throw them in the hole. For example, this duck is going in the hole. And we've annoyed the duck gods yet again, so we're going to murder this. It's going to give us an egg. We're probably also going to throw this in the hole, unless it's something absolutely amazing. Uh, sorry, giraffe duck, you're just not meant to be. We managed to get a doctor-headed duck, so things are progressing pretty nicely. In saying that, we're going to drop Dr. Duck down the hole. But we're really getting very few ducks without exotic upgrades. I still haven't gotten one that's all exotic yet. Any minute now, we're going to get there. We literally just threw you in a hole. Why is Dr. Duck back? Maybe it's a sign that I need to throw him in the hole again. Okay, this one came from the horse-headed duck, so I can't wait to see what kind of result we get. <laughs> It's got a hook for a head. It's not a horse, it's a hook. And this one had me so excited. I thought for sure that was going to be exotic, exotic, exotic. This one's probably the closest we've gotten so far. Duck 111. Exotic, exotic, legendary. So I've cleansed out some of those. We're going to laugh about the uh, <laughs> hook-headed duck again for a second. And then we're going to open an egg. Okay, this one's going to be an exotic egg. So this could be the first triple exotic. Nope. But uh, we got a new body. It's... I don't know, an ice cube. So close again. We're getting so many double exotics now. Even when we're opening up rares, they're often better than rare. Wow, this was the worst one we've opened in a while. How do I find that one? Where are you in the world? I think it's this one. Pretty sure it was that one. Okay, but here we have an egg that's legendary. And it's made by those, it's made by the hook-headed duck. So we're going to upgrade that to uh, exotic. Then hopefully we get a triple rare. Triple exotic. Yeah, we did it. Our first triple exotic. I thought for sure that was going to be a set. Maybe under professionals. Boxer. I think it's close to that, but also not that. Okay, well, now that we have our triple exotic duck, we're going to get rid of all the other ducks except for that one. And the one with the horse for a head, because I want a triple exotic with the horse for a head, because that would just be good family fun. Uh, I'm also going to have to hatch this train wreck, so we'll just let that go. It's another giraffe. There's nothing particularly exciting about it. Uh... Other than the fact that it will take an extra second to drop in the hole because it's so tall. This one's going to stem from the hook-headed duck. And it's a hook-headed uh, moron. Also kind of entertaining, so we're going to leave that there for a second. 
We're also going to hatch this though to hopefully find something. No. But now thanks to my selective breeding program, this one is the triple exotic plus the horse head. I really want to see what this turns into. The horse head with an exotic but just rare wings. I sacrificed so many exotic ducks to make that. That wasn't worth it at all. So we mostly just get downgraded versions of the triple exotic, which is kind of odd. But I accept my results. I didn't think before I did the thing. That one's kind of funny. He's just covered in slime. That's got to be one of the disaster ducks. Duck 126 is kind of funny because not only does he have a hook for a head, he also has very dangerous wings. And we got a new head. He's wearing a dangerous necklace and he looks very pissed off. So this one is the triple exotic plus the hook head, which gets us... A hook head with nothing particularly interesting about it. Now we're getting somewhere. This is a duck we can get behind. And they were kind enough to give me another exotic egg. That's between um, Disaster Face and the Pilot Duck. I don't remember what that thing is. Whatever the case, this is going to be a good one. Very excited to see what we get. It's basically just a duck without eyes. Which I can appreciate, but for all the wrong reasons. Uh, I think we're a little overdue to do another cleansing. Since the Horse Face Duck didn't really work out, it's going to go. I would manually throw it in the hole, but I'm too lazy. I must have had two of those. Okay, I've got a bit of an idea. Let's keep the double exotic. Uh, we're going to take this, and then we're going to keep those ones. We're going to get that one. We're going to get rid of this one. That's going to spawn our idiot back in. I don't even want to open this, but I'm going to anyway, because I just want another duck to throw down in the hole, and I don't have to care about... Well, it's got a kind of a nice body. Got a cat body. So let's keep that, but we're also going to bring in just a very basic regular duck again for the first time in a long time. Now let's throw that into the mix and see what happens. I feel like we're getting close to something good. Uh, this one is a combination of two slime headed ducks. Not sure what that's going to mean for their head, but hopefully something great. Interesting. So it's got wheels for wings and a legendary body. Okay, this one is a common egg, but it's a combination of lots of legendary uh, exotic stuff. So this could actually be really good depending on what its final part is going to be. Well, the black wings suit it. And we now have a duck with a scorpion tail. Okay, so we combine the demon head duck with the horse duck on an uh, exotic egg. And then I don't know what we're going to get, but I can't wait to see what disaster this is. It's a bald duck. For some reason, our random breeding program just doesn't seem to be getting us to where we want to be. Let's cleanse everything but our triple exotic. Now I just have one duck and four lonely eggs. Uh, we're just going to hatch these real quick and then we're going to hold them. Uh, like so. Mostly because I wanted to see what this duck would do by itself. Like, does it just spit the same thing out? We're going to upgrade it to a legendary. And we got another triple exotic, but with a new mutation. So that's kind of interesting. It's got thumbs for wings. So it's just some solo DNA, really, but it actually downgraded its head to a wizard. And we don't like wizards in this part of the world. I'm just kind of wondering if they'll, like, evolve into what they're supposed to evolve into. I can't tell them apart now. They all look the same. This is all going to get super incest super quick, considering it's all coming from literally one duck. But we got spiky tails. We're still finding lots of new stuff. It's just we're not really finding the proper assort uh, assortment of stuff on the right duck. And here we're getting another legendary oh. that's actually way downgraded. This one's got a hook on the rear end, though. Oh, look at that face. It's got multiple beaks. Can I just make a duck out of hooks? That would be really, really fun. We need another hook face duck. Okay, duck 164 looks like it actually could be a set. Those parts go together pretty well. Okay, duck 167 is another triple exotic because it's basically two ducks in one. Okay, well, let's maybe start fresh once again with the many faced duck. Which, of course, earned us another stupid one of these. That's actually also a many phase duck, so that's kind of funny. And the first thing we hatch out of one of the existing eggs is a triple exotic. So, sorry, but you've got to go. Okay, so the many phase duck has breeded with the other many phase duck to hopefully they give me, like, a super phase duck. What's it going to be? Uh, it just got long ears, really. It really wants us to make a duck out of hooks. I'm just not really sure how to get there. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're back to a solo uh, hook duck that should hopefully make more hooks. I don't know why I think this is going to work, but eventually it might. Well, no, at least every duck on the screen has a hook on its rear at least, so that's a start. We need more hooks. I want one on the front. How do we get one on the front? You know what? You're all failures. Get in the hole. Well, this one's not a hook, but duck 197 is kind of like a demon duck with a hook on the rear. Mm, that's probably about close enough for me for now. 